Hi everyone, I'm Suzanne. Thank you for joining me. In today's video, I'm going to share with you some curriculum that's a little outside of the box. I wanted to showcase two bundles that I have purchased over the last year. Now I've purchased probably about five different bundles from vendors, home, other homeschoolers that sell predominantly on Etsy and Instagram. These two bundles I thought were a great example of what is available to us as homeschoolers. This is curriculum time. A lot of people are doing a lot of research for curriculum and I thought I would offer some alternatives because we personally love to do a lot of unit studies. We certainly use kind of open and go out of the box curriculum, but we also like to do a lot of our own unit studies. And I find there's some amazing creators out there that offer little mini pieces of curriculum or whole year long curriculum. So what I thought I would do is I would showcase uh, two bundles. And the reason that I chose these two are because they're the latest that I've purchased, as well as one of them is currently available for sale. And the other bundle that I purchased in January has its second volume coming out on April 29th, coincidentally. And I spoke with uh, the lady from Wild Explorers on Instagram today, and she informed me that uh, there'll be a sample up next week. So as usual, I will leave links down below, but the two curriculum that I'm going to talk about are the two bundles that I'm going to talk about today. And I did reference these already in my update. So if you're like, oh, I saw some of this, it's like, yes, you did <laughs> in my monthly homeschool update. But this is going to get way more in depth. These are the two bundles. The first one is Wild Explorers, a travel journal. And this is volume one. And like I said, volume two will be coming out uh, April 29th. And the second bundle is the Nature Schooling uh, Mega Bundle Spring Edition. And I think by the time you see this video, you'll have one day after I post this video uh, left to purchase this bundle, which is why I went on about it actually in my last homeschool update, because I was hoping to give you a few more days to uh, check that out and see if you wanted to purchase it. But I mean, for the price point, listen, just watch. You can't, there's no way you can go wrong. And how I always kind of look at the bundles is if there's like three to five that I know I want for sure, then it's like way, way worth uh, the money to purchase these bundles. I always find way more. And these two are no exception. So I did my best to get it early for the mega spring bundle. Unfortunately, that didn't happen, but hopefully if you watch my homeschool update, that gave you a couple more days. But like I said, it is available, or did I say, but this particular one is available till April 14th. And no, I'm in no way affiliated with any of the <laughs> content providers in these bundles. I just really love them. And we've gotten so much from them in our homeschool. And yeah, it's just a beautiful way and a light, relaxed way to help our kids learn and that is not so textbooky. What I'm going to do for the remainder of this video is I'm going to give you a look inside so I won't be on the camera anymore. I'll do some voiceovers when necessary, but I want to show you the inside and I tried to do that in my homeschool update. I'm not very good at it from this, like to hold it up. So I'm going to do some flip throughs for you. I can't show everything. Now for the Wild Explorers, I probably will show you the majority of it because I did print it for us because I know we're going to be using it uh, some this year and some next year. And But for the Mega Spring bundle, there's just so much of it that I can't print it all right now, but I'll show you everything I have printed. It'll definitely give you enough of an idea if there's something of interest, you'll get a distinct feel for what they're offering. And then you can go check out the links uh, to see if you want it for yourself. Without further ado, let's go. We're going to start off with the Nature Schooling Mega Bundle. And this is the spring edition. And this is for sale until April 14th. And there is over a hundred resources in here, 65 different content providers. Oh my gosh, it's just so amazing. Now, if you like this and you want to see the next bundle much earlier, please let me know and I'll try to make that happen. I just want to make a couple notes. One is every printer is different. I had already printed off a few pieces before I realized that my printer heads needed to be clean. So please, before you start printing, check your printer heads. Also, everybody's color printer is going to be a bit different. 
Some of the packages I've skipped pages for various reasons. For example, I have too many animal cards and bumblebees, that sort of thing. I didn't want to print off any more, but this will give you an idea of what's available. Also, if a resource that's on the list is not printed here, it isn't a reflection of the item. Some of those decisions on my part was all about time and also our interests. Everybody's different, which is why this is great for so many different people. And other things we had already studied, like ladybugs. There are studies I didn't print off because my daughter is of a different age. So for reference, my daughter is eight. And I don't want to forget to say this. I absolutely love that they've done up this unit study guide. I think it's amazing the way they have it laid out. I just want to clap, stand up, and give a standing ovation. And it's so user-friendly. Now, they've laid out all the resources by age. We have preschool, early elementary, 6 to 8. Then is upper elementary, 8 to 10. Middle school, 11 to 14. Then high school, plus 14. And all ages. I will make a couple notes about the ages just because it's easier when you're going through to trying to decide what to print off. One of the first things I did was I got a highlighter and I went through and I highlighted items that were on the same pages. For example, All About Foresting by Wild Hearts Academy. Now this is on middle school, upper elementary, as well as the eight to 10. I highlighted them all in green and it just made it easier because then I wasn't looking at the same items over and over. Next, I'd like to note that the high school list, all of these are on previous pages except for the Emily Carr. You can save yourself time and know that these are on previous pages. For the preschool list, I didn't pay much attention to that at all. So I'm not going to say anything about that. Early elementary, six to eight. I found a lot of the items on this list to be quite young. Now there were some that were like this deciduous trees that are also on the later years. And you'll see that particular one. I do a flip through in this video. The other note I just, I wanted to make is this butterfly unit study by Montessori Tube Academy. And this one repeats on a couple lists as well, but when you open it up, it's actually about birds. Okay, I think those are all the notes that I wanted to make about that. It's very useful. And then you have all ages. And I love this too. They have bilingual and Spanish language resources. I definitely want to look at those for our, for our Spanish study next year. Okay, I'm going to flip through these rather quickly. If you're somebody that loves unit studies and feel a bit unsure of how to put them together or just prefer somebody else to do it, they've certainly done it here. They lay it out, give you all the resources, what to read on what day, and they even theme them. This one is it's spring, farming, fruit and planting. So I started looking through things and went, oh, that looks interesting. And then I turned back and went to the list at the beginning. Soil and gardens, foraging, mushrooms, insects, ladybugs, bees and flowers, flowers again, blossoms, eggs, robin, Oh no, it's birds. See what happens? You read upside down. Birds, birds. Uh, weather, water, trees, forest. No, I'm just going to flip through. If you want to see, you can pause. And then I really love this. They listed them here. Spring nature study. It's a different way of looking at the list. Look at all of these resources. Spring learning pack, spring math, spring language arts and poetry, spring art, spring art, handicrafts, play, and games. Yeah, look, 100 resources, 26 different pre-packaged units. Okay, I'm going to dive in and look inside some of these wonderful pieces. This is the Raft Picture Book Guide by Hearth Magic. Cover. Now, I printed some of this off on cardstock like these because you can cut them out. These are uh, puppets. And some pages I printed off a normal paper like this, double sided. Cute. 
Now I didn't print off, there was a bunch of little cards with this, but they were kind of a repeat for us, so we didn't print them off. Here's an example of how you can really use this to uh, suit your family needs. I only have a few pages from this because we've already studied ladybugs, but oh, this was so beautiful, I couldn't resist. And I had some fun activities, so if you're interested, there is the contents of what's in a full bundle for this. Like I said, um, this is not the full bundle, but it gives you an idea of what is available. In this bundle, I did print some on paper, like this, and some on cardstock, which really means all the beautiful flowers are on cardstock. All right, this one is one of my favorites in terms of the watercolor aspect. It looks like it's printed on watercolor paper, although it's simply cardstock. Anyway, if you like that sort of thing, which I do, this is fantastic, and this is on cherries. This had games at the end and I just wrote down, I think there was one other one in there, the page numbers if I want to print off the game cards. I did want to share these because they're so gorgeous. I do want to preface this by saying my color is off on my printer because these are supposed to be purple and these are a little bit more yellow. So just keep that in mind. These are the vintage flowers, which I absolutely love. But like I said, the color is a little bit off on my printer. This is one, it, absolutely stunning. This whole thing is stunning. Uh, my printer did not do this justice in any way. The idea is so fun though. Oh, these two I did on cardstock because I know I'll actually will cook these. My daughter really loved the idea of those. Obviously, you put the name Winsicle in it, and I definitely want to see it. I do want to take the opportunity to point out here that my printer head needed to be cleaned, and I didn't register that until I'd printed off a couple of packages, unfortunately. It's gorgeous. I wanna say artwork. Okay, I'm just gonna flip through. Now there's a lot here for this one. It 
a lot of cards in many of these packages, and we love them in our house. I didn't cut them up or laminate them or anything because I wanted to keep them intact for this flip through. So when I do that, I'll try to post them on Instagram. And all the providers have such gorgeous photos. Definitely check out the content providers on Instagram. My goodness, their photos are gorgeous. Their work is gorgeous. And even as I'm filming this, I keep seeing some of their posts and I'm like, oh, I missed that piece of curriculum. So I don't have everything here. Definitely check out their posts. Here's another piece of curriculum that I did show in my homeschool update, but now I will do a flip through. And the rest I did on cardstock. Characters. Again, I want to note that I didn't print off everything and every piece of content because some of it was a repeat for us. We already have cards from another previous study. I also mentioned this in my homeschool update. I'm still not going to show it here because I did a flip through for the Beatrix Potter study that will be out in a couple days. So definitely if you want to see the inside of that, uh, check it out. But I'll show you a couple because they're gorgeous and really, why should she be left out? Look at this, gorgeous fox. Who doesn't like foxes? Somebody, okay, just please do a fox study. We all want it, I'm sure. This is frame worthy. Actually the cover for this study does show that in a frame. Here is one of the bird studies. This is all I printed off for this study uh, so far. And here's some contractions, so you can set that up as a game, have your kids do it. Oh, I just thought that was a lot of fun. So this is a spring writing workshop. So there's lots of direction and writing prompts. You want something specifically for language arts. Now she has a whole, there's a bunch of these pages in there. So if you want that type of paper or you want to print off more, they are available. All right, we're on to the second bundle. I'm so excited to show you this one. This is Wild Explorers, a travel journal. I purchased this in January of this year. We've used one of the resources already. We use the Antarctic study, which I'll show you in a few minutes for our penguin study. And we're about to use the Peru package, which I will also show you in this video. So this is the first travel journal. They're being released quarterly. And the second uh, travel journal is being released on April 29th. So this is perfect timing for this video. And there'll be a sample up on her website next week. All right, we're gonna jump into the bundle. This is what was included in the bundle. And here's a map for the whole world. <laughs> and these are the creators. First we have Africa. This is Tanzania in Africa. The beginning of each individual package looks like this. And here's what it's about. And there's the content provider.
uh, some of these like this beautiful piece of um, like this beautiful piece of artwork I printed on cardstock again you'll see throughout I've printed some on cardstock and other pieces on regular printing paper So I haven't cut anything out. All the cards and everything you're going to see in here. These are the little cards that come with the letters from afar. And there's one for one letter and one little card. Again, see, this is, I printed this one before I did the printer, cleaned the printer heads. Ugh. I think I'll reprint this one actually because I want to keep them. Look, they're just, they're gorgeous and we keep all the letters from afar in a special scribbler of its own. Okay. All right, and then we get into the Antarctica study. And this is the food chain. My daughter glued that on there. And again, here's some more coloring pages. And I'm going to show you the rest of the sheets as soon as I lay them out. The artwork is amazing. This is like entertainment, like it's definitely beautiful for your kids, but let's be honest, let's keep the mummies happy too. <laughs> I'm gonna try to hold this here and flick through. So, so these are the pages I haven't bound, which I will do when I'm finished this video so that I have everything in one place. I did not do that. It almost seems a shame to put holes in these. There's one of these maps for every unit too. Again, I haven't printed the cards yet. Okay, I think it might have been this picture that I printed that I realized how off my color was. So again, check the color on your printer before you print. This one I already reprinted because look at this. I'm going to frame this one. I Oh, I think it's stunning. I'm really excited to use this as a spine for a Vietnam study. resources really you know you could use I said to use this as a spine but I'm not you wouldn't even need anything else if you didn't want to for this particular study Here's the Beatrix Potter study that I mentioned in the homeschool update. And again, I'm going to show this in more detail in our Beatrix, in our Beatrix Potter study. It's coming out in a couple days.
Okay, for this one, I get really carried away and, oh, look. Okay, so that's my printer, not these. Sorry, I didn't reprint it. It was obviously getting worse. I'm not sure why it took me so long to see that my printer was doing that. If some of these pieces interest you, like this one, they're for sale on the website, so check it out. You can't get the bundle anymore, but some of the pieces you can purchase. Also by Fiddlesticks, you can print off your own passport. So there's pages and stickers, and I didn't do that yet, but you can. I printed everything off, but I haven't had the chance to put it together yet. This is what it looks like. I'm just going to show you some of. So you cut these up, and these are all the pieces. Now that was, uh, so that was quite a lot of printing. That's a lot of cardstock. I hope we love the game. <laughs> Little sticks. <laughs> 